got a Spike Lee movie, man. <laughs> Black Klansman. Whoa. <laughs> so it's about a black Irishman, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. This is a, a, a Spike Lee uh, movie came out. Now, I, I, now, I'm hearing Jordan Peele has something to do with it. I thought he was, like, directing it. Maybe he producing or, or, or probably writing. Yeah. You know, something writing on it. But um, after Get Out, I think other it made it more safe for Spike Lee to be more mainstream because his movie always is kind of racial. Yeah. And so they was looking like, okay, Get Out was racial, had some racial things in it, and it was so big, and a lot of stuff kind of racial right now. Yeah. It's way bigger than it's been in the past years. I don't yeah. know what's going on now. But uh, <clears throat> this movie decided to come out now. <laughs> yeah. So it's the Black Klansman, and for my understanding, this is actually a remake. This was an yeah. uh, old movie from the 70s about... Uh, a black guy that their past were white, I guess he was so light that he passed for white. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I haven't seen it, but I heard about it. And he went undercover in a, in a KKK. Like <laughs> now, for what I'm understanding, this movie gonna be slightly different though. It ain't. They're not gonna go there. Right. So <laughs> I don't know. Now it's got it's got Adam Driver in there, and he's supposed to be Jewish, <clears throat> which he looks Jewish. So yeah. <laughs> that works. <laughs> He's got it down. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we about to watch this trailer and have a little discussion for it. Um, so without further ado, Black, Klan Black Klansman. There's never been a black cop in this city. We think you might be the man to open things up around here. Oh, you know what? I heard this Denzel watching this song. <laughs> Hello, this is Ron Stallworth calling. Well, who am I speaking with? This is David Duke. Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. That David Duke? <laughs> God. Last time I checked. What can I do you for? Well, since you asked, I hate blacks. I hate Jews, Mexicans, and Irish, Italians, and Chinese. But my mouth to God's ears, I really hate those black rats. And anyone else, really, that doesn't have pure white Aryan blood running through their veins. I'm happy to be talking to a true white American. God bless white America. <laughs> the KKK is planning an attack. How do you propose to make this investigation? We'll establish contact over the phone. We'll need a white officer to play me a when they meet face to face. <laughs> you for the white race, Ron? Oh, hell yeah. So there becomes a combined <laughs> Ron Stallworth. Can you do that? With the right white man, we can do anything. Why you keep saying With the right When's the last time they let a rookie lead an investigation? Oh, that's right. Never. <laughs> okay. Become his friend. Let's get invited back. Okay. So what yeah. kind of stuff you guys do? Cross burdens, <laughs> not really marches, this is fiction. It'll be a big year for us. Really asked like... too many questions. You undercover or something? We must unite and organize to fight racism. Are you down for the liberation of black people? Power to the people. All power to all the people. All power to all the people. It's right system. For you, it's a crusade. For me, it's a job. You're Jewish. That hatred, doesn't that piss you off? You're taking this Jew lie detector test. Why are you acting like you ain't got skin in the game? I'm telling you, the wars over. are coming. <laughs> Black power! Black power! Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. That's us. Stallworth Brothers. <laughs> We're on a roll, baby. <laughs> America first. America first. America first. If I would have known this was a clan, I wouldn't have taken this mother. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, we back. We just watched the Black Clan Smith. This is, uh, is, is, it, is it nice to just make some, just, just make fun, have fun with this? Just, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's serious shit. <laughs> But this movie, it looked funny. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you know what? And I think, like, there's a line, and this is one of the reasons why I'm really happy about, like, Jordan Peele's effect on, you know, the film industry. Yeah, right, right, you know, right. It's right. like, you can, like, serious shit doesn't have to be hardcore. Right. You know. That's true. That's true. I mean, they took a, a kind of comedic approach, but it's it's kind of it's kind of on point to be, because it's actually funny. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, 
So what you think of the trailer? <laughs> <laughs> Why you keep saying white? <laughs> every single time. Every single time. With the right white man. Yeah. Anything is possible. I'm sure that's on purpose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, man. Well, since you asked... I, <laughs> what you say? Well, since you asked, I I hate Mexicans, yeah. the Irish, yeah. <laughs> Jewish, and Chinese. Yeah. But what I really hate is those black rats. Yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna be. They created a character basically, right. and he need Adam Driver to be basically his avatar. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh man, this I want to see this now. <laughs> like, there's so many ways that can go so beautifully wrong, <laughs> like for the for all the right reasons in the movie, yeah. and I really want to be there. But for you that. know, I'm scared of is um, Spike Lee. I don't know if he because he, he not really a comedy guy, right? True, and I'm scared that he ain't gonna know how to pull back. And then one minute it's gonna be funny, the next minute it's gonna be too serious. Right. And I mean, can you you you? I really don't like blending both of them, but it's a way you can. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> but I'm worried that Spike Lee probably can't. Especially really get if them. you can accept the dark comedy aspect. Right. And that's cool. But if you give us that that silly stuff, you show the two people afros, and they use the the um, the uh, Spike Lee patented camera shot. You know the dolly shot he always yeah. used. Yeah. And then you have some kids getting burnt up in a church or something. I'm not. I don't. I don't. I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? Like you have to be really careful how you juxtapose that stuff because it can come off feeling like, "Hey, they're dying, right?" It's funny, right? I mean, but yeah. it's just the point. If you gonna if you gonna be funny, you can't give me tragedy too. Like there has to be the right balance. Like <laughs> right. not only within like the movie overall, but like in the transition from scene to scene. Right. Like I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, when somebody used KKK in a funny effect. Well, I got two examples, actually, on Django, mm -hmm. where they had the KKK, but they had them being fucking bumbling idiots, yeah. you know? Now, I think we all appreciate <laughs> Dale's wife making the mask. Right. And I can't see nothing in this goddamn mask, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just, you know, that, that was funny, okay? Right. And then you got us another movie. It's an old Richard Pryor movie called Bustin' Loose. Have you ever seen it? Yes. <laughs> when he had the KKK... Pushing the bus out the mud or whatever. I, I don't even remember what he told them to get them to help him to push that bus. <laughs> but it was so funny. When they got the damn bus out the mud, he just like peeled down and just like just threw him all just threw mud all over all the over. ass. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, stuff like that. Yeah. If you use it right, it can be funny. Yeah, you know, and, and it's definitely a risk because you are talking about some serious stuff here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, on either side of the aisle, this is serious stuff. So. I know, I know. That's I'm like, I'm like. It looked funny, and it looked it looked like something I want to see. But uh, I'm just I, I'm a little worried that Spike Lee can't keep it that way. Yeah. I'm a little worried that Spike Lee gonna get too serious. Yeah, you know, because he known to do that. You know, and it's like okay, because I, maybe I don't know if Jordan Peele wrote this or somebody with the no comedy wrote this right. or whatever. Because I'm wondering, Spike like, directing. I'm not right. sure if Spike Lee wrote it, but I'm just saying. Because I'd be curious to see who wrote the screenplay for this. Right. And I, I got a feeling that he's going to, it's going to be funny to a point, and then Spike Lee going to get real serious. Yeah. And he he, he, he tend to do that. And a lot of his movies I've seen where uh, I liked it, but then I just felt like it was just, it's just a little too much. Or he pushing his point just was way too hard, you know. All right. <clears throat> and that's why I'm, I'm worried about on this, you know. But... Other than concerned. that, it, it looks entertaining and looks like I want to see it though. <laughs> right. And I heard I, I don't know if this is a true story, but this was like a true story. That's what I've been hearing, like, like cover or something. I, I keep hearing that this is like at, at the very least based off of a real story. Right. It, it, they, I'm sure they took some liberties. Yeah. But it, it makes sense though. I mean, it's, it's just an undercover cop story. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know. But like I, it also like to me illustrates like. This is why Hollywood needs to be more inventive and creative. Mm-hmm. Because if nothing else, like, this looks good. Right. How much stuff have we seen that doesn't even look good on paper? <laughs> you know. Dude, <laughs> ever, since we start, ever since we started the channel, man, and started watching movies, watching more movies, man, Hollywood is, 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 is trash, man. Right? <laughs> it's, it's like, it's not even acceptable. Like, we thought it would be good and we couldn't pull it off, but we had to make something. I'm going to tell you this. 
it's a movie come out every week, so they keep shoving out movies. Fifty two weeks in a year, so and that's in several movies a week. Um the fact it's just it's just it's too much trash out there. So out of fifty two, let's just say one movie a week, out of fifty two weeks, you're gonna get maybe five to six good yeah. ones. Out of fifty two. Right. What's the percentage? Yeah. It yeah. ain't big. I don't I, I guess <laughs> what's that percentage? Let's I, just say five out of fifty. So that's ten percent. So it'll be less than ten it'll be like eight percent of movies <laughs> that's actually good. Right. Ninety two percent is trash. <laughs> yeah. So like this is what happens when you say, All right, well what do we got? What can we do with this? Let's look at that. Uh, yeah, so I it looks inventive, it looks um it looks good, it looks funny. I like all the actors in it. I like the people involved. Adam Driver. Did you like? The, you see the part when he was talking on the phone? How he was turning around that chair. Yeah. Like every time he said something, he turned around a little bit more. <laughs> like, and even like everybody else, like the the one dude turned around as soon as he heard Maxin. The one dude turned around as soon as he heard Chinese. Yeah, well, yeah, and he Jewish, so he's like, "Well, you just saw that everybody in this office." Right. <laughs> Wait, look, and then they turn around. Is that the black dude? <laughs> Did the black dude just. But you know what? I'm looking at if that's the police station or that that unit, or whatever is made up of minorities or whatever, they're going to be more dedicated to doing their right. job or whatever. So I kind of I kind of like the idea. I really like yeah. the idea. I really can't wait to see this. <laughs> Please so, don't let me down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's our that's our mm-hmm. discussion for Black's Klansman. Uh, I'm gonna get a review up later whenever it come out. All right. So uh, moving on, we got a couple other trailers. <laughs> 